Making Taco Bell at home is pretty easy, except the sauces. Woo, Taco Bell sauce game is strong. They got some real winners, like their uh, Magic Pink sauce, also known as the uh, Jalapeno sauce. We got the uh, Creamy or uh, Chipotle, uh, whatever that is, the Chipotle thing, I don't know. Forget what they call it. Spicy Ranch with habaneros. Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make that. We got the red sauce that goes in the burritos and the thing and the <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna show you where to get that. You don't have to make it from scratch. It's okay, relax. Some of this is gonna be easy, some of it's gonna be hard. We've got the avocado ranch because oh, I may have been eating a bunch of that. This way there's not much left. And they got the new green chili verde sauce back. Oh, don't worry, there's a shortcut. It's easy. Uh, we've uh, pretty much already covered that. Just get the 505 uh, stuff here. It's the Hatch Valley Green Chili Verde Sauce Salsa. Close enough. It really is. That is 90% as good as their sauce. Uh, so just do that. We've already covered one of these, which is good because there's a ton of sauces. We gotta go over this stuff fast because this is gonna take a while. I'm gonna do my best, uh, but uh, buckle up because uh, we're about to get started. Of course, one of the classic uh, Taco Bell sauces has to be the creamy jalapeno sauce. It's also known as the magic pink sauce, and it could not be easier to make. If you have a couple of things, you might even have this stuff around. There is some spices and seasonings. The whole list is maybe right here, and it's always in the description. And you can check out uh, BillCooks.com. It'll be there, too, because I'm going to finally update my website. Ah! Uh, fun fact, I uh, was in the website business back in the 90s, making uh, websites uh, out of, just out of school, and uh, thought uh, that was uh, going to be the future of everything, and then, you know, everything comes along, and they just make them automatically now. So, uh, now I'm cooking. Uh, here we are. Uh, that was more information than you needed, but uh, some people like the jibber-jabber, and I'm trying to keep a little bit of jibber-jabber in this, even though we're moving quickly. All right. Spices. Recipes. Okay, we're back. Uh, what else do you need? Diced jalapenos. Yes, jalapenos, diced ones. You use hot, you can use tamed, you can use whatever you want. We got about three tablespoons or so there. You can see, we just take a spoon into, I have a jar here of this, as you can see there. This is uh, just two, three spoons of that, and boom, there you go. Uh, we have some uh, white distilled vinegar, about a tablespoon of that. We have mayonnaise, and I have some sour cream. Now this is fancy sour cream. You can use regular sour cream. I just happen to have this sour cream. Um, they also have this in table cream, which is, you should always have that if you like Mexican food. Have table cream around, always. It's important. This is the sour cream version. All right, so we're gonna need a half a cup of each of these. We are making a fair amount of this sauce because this is the magic pink sauce. Everyone loves this on everything. This is what's in the quesadilla. Everyone thinks it's the chipotle sauce. It's this one. So uh, yeah, you need to open this up. Of course, they make this super easy. You can tell I just got this one. All right, maybe I'll hit the fast forward button because we don't have time for this. Through the magic of editing, there's no top in here anymore. What? This is thinner than regular um, sour cream, so this is going to work beautifully. But yeah, you just kind of want to stir this up just a smidge, and we need a half a cup of it. So we're just going to pour this in here. It's perfect right there. This is going to go in there. This is going to go in there. And then we're going to put this in there Ooh, that's starting to look like something isn't it folks yeah it is you know it's starting to look like something um, could you do this without a food processor yeah but you're gonna have to get real good with dicing up uh, those jalapenos because uh, they are uh, kind of have to be really really small okay our vinegar is going to go in here as well and our half a cup of mayonnaise the mayonnaise adds a thickening agent to this slightly, makes it a little bit more uh, luxurious, um, especially if you're using regular sour cream that isn't this extra thinned out stuff. You definitely need the mayonnaise. Could you use a little less than half a cup? Yes. Could you use vegan mayonnaise with the thing? Of course. Yeah, if you want to make this a vegan sauce, go for it. That is perfectly okay. As everyone knows, mayonnaise does have eggs in it. So it is not considered vegan. 
but they have eggless mayonnaise because joy is just too much fun. Okay, this is going in here. All right, and this is what's so great about making sauces, folks. That's literally it. And there you go. We have magic pink sauce. Oh, I wish you could see this. Let's, let's uh, give this a... Yeah, there it is, magic pink sauce. It's perfect. That's easy. That's it. Um, put this in a container. A squeeze bottle is preferable. This has to be in a, a sealable container. This will last two weeks-ish in your fridge, uh, pretty much. Uh, but you have to make this about an hour before everything because a lot of the spices are dry. All the spices are dry. And uh, they need to hydrate. So right now it's a little gritty. In an hour, that's going to be perfect. And we're going to squirt it on our food and move on to the next sauce. So let's go! I know I promised to show you the hard way and the easy way of everything, but some things are just too hard and some things are just too good when they're easy. So, uh, this is one of those good and easy ones. The avocado ranch dressing, or ranch avocado dressing, however you want to say it. It's not one of their main things. It is available in a lot of their stuff, uh, but, you, you know, it's a side thing mostly. I don't know that it's an ingredient for anything specifically on the menu currently. So, I'm going to show you the easy way. The hard way, I will give you the list of stuff. You probably don't need a quart of this stuff, so we're just going to cheat and make a small bowl. Uh, I need some avocado for something else as well. Uh, or, if you really want to cheat, just use a scoop of guacamole. <laughs> Works just fine. But, I'm going to actually cut into this avocado. So, just put your knife in, roll it around until you get back to the same spot. You know how to do this. This is uh, going uh, quickly. So we don't need a ton of this, but I'm going to take some of the not browner parts. Avocados are like lottery tickets. You get a ripe one that doesn't have spots in it, you won. So uh, we are going to take a little bit of this here and just put this in our bowl without some of that. Good. Ooh. Yeah, I almost won that. I won yesterday's lottery. <laughs> that one's a little past its prime. How do you get the uh, the nut out? You uh, give it a whack like that. How do you get that off of there? Pinch. Safety first, people. Okay, we got a few other bits here that uh, have passed their prime. Yeah. Okay, I won the lottery, uh, avocado lottery, three days ago, apparently. All right, getting the whole avocado out. Spoon goes around, just like that. Scoop, and avocado. Clean shell. Once again, slowly. We just go with the spoon around. You've seen this a thousand times, but it really, truly is that easy. There you go. Uh, now, to this little amount of avocado, we are going to take... Some uh, ranch dressing. You know what I love? They hide the valley, and then they put a picture of it on there. Guess it's not hidden anymore, is it? Never made sense to me. Okay, ranch, avocado. Take our spoon, mashy mash. Get in there and mash that up real, real good. There's one other ingredient you do have to add to this to make it the authentic flavor. I'll show you that in half a second. So what else does it need? Why, potatoes, of course. I have a perfectly good green, no, it's a lime, come on. So I have this, it's not a potato masher. It's a lime squeezer. Take this sucker and we're gonna squeeze like three drops in there. If you don't need a whole lime for uh, that or for any other reason, let me show you this. These little things, yeah. They suck, but it is actually lime juice. Um, it's just not fresh squeezed. But if you don't need a whole lime for a lot of other stuff and you need three drops, there, see, perfect. And I didn't kill a lime. I'll use that for something else. That may go in the margaritas later. But uh, for now, 
That is the perfect avocado ranch dressing that we will just taste. Yep, there you go. That is, I won't even say that's 90% as good. I'd say that's about 99% as good. There you go. Super easy and uh, we're done. So uh, now I'm going to chop this up and put this in a uh, sandwich wrap for something else that I'm doing for something else completely different. But you don't need to know anything about that. I promise. All right. Back to the rest of this video. So another one of the sauces we need to work on is their red sauce. This is not to be confused with their taco sauce, the border sauce that comes in the packets, or you can buy in the bottles at the grocery store, that kind of thing. This is the sauce that goes inside the items as they assemble them. Uh, in your Burrito Supreme, stuff like that, this is the sauce that's inside theirs. It's enchilada sauce, people. It is very different, uh, and this is the closest I have ever come to finding that in a can. So much so, I am not going to make my own sauce. You can just buy this can. You can order this stuff online. This is what you need, and that's what it is. There's your red sauce. Open the can, pour it out, stir it up a little bit, and boom, red sauce. There you go. All right, back to the rest of this. Here's a couple of the things that are going to save you a bunch of time because we're in the 90% range at this point. We're going to use uh, store-made guacamole. Uh, you may be able to buy this depending on where you live. If not, there is this kind of guacamole that should be available everywhere. Get those. They're fantastic. They're the little packets, individual. You open them up, smear them in. There you go. Uh, buying avocados is pretty much like buying lottery tickets. You know, you're not going to win. So, um, store-bought guacamole is fantastic. If you can get something like this, this happens to be spicy. And yes, uh, I've already used some of this and I put the plastic wrap on it and sucked it down real good. And it's still good two days later because you can do that. So uh, that's a hell of a trip right there. So that's the conclusion of part one of this. There's a lot of information as you can see. Uh, I'm breaking this up because uh, two things, uh, you don't want to sit through a half hour video of this whole thing. And uh, two, uh, it really helps the, the channel if I do multiple videos uh, YouTube uh, has weird things with their algorithm. So breaking this up is beneficial for both of us. See, I'm thinking of you while I'm thinking of me. It's a symbiotic relationship here. Speaking of which, did you guys know that we hit 800 subscribers? Oh my God, thank you so much. This is amazing. I can't believe it. If you're not one of those, hit that, uh, that uh, subscribe link down there and join us because uh, craziness, zaniness, uh, wackiness, and othernesses happen here all the time. Cleanliness is not one of them. But, um, you know, sometimes you get tastiness, and uh, this is one of those. So, all, as always, I thank you for watching. Can't wait to uh, see you in part two of this coming up shortly. Look for that. It'll be out. If you hit the subscribe uh, button and the bell notification, it'll tell you when it comes out, and then you'll be one of the very first people to watch it and learn how to make the rest of the sauces because they're so good. You've got to know how to do all these things. Till then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.